I thought one thing in particular you might like to hear about, something we can kind of imagine together, uh, is this era of time that these rocks that we're going to be looking at, and I say rocks, they're pretty soft, uh, sort of a chalky, marly mudstone is where these teeth are coming from. It's called the Moorville chalk, and it comes from late and dinosaur times, the Cretaceous period. And the Moorville chalk uh, is about uh, 82 million years ago that it was deposited. And if we can imagine together, uh, I like to think about the, the past of the state in terms of lost worlds because each one of them seems so different from today that it's almost like this, it's a, you couldn't write it any stranger if you were writing a science fiction tale. <laughs> but let's imagine that uh, based on years of study of this Morville chalk and the things that are found in it, um, what he described about where the shoreline of the Gulf of Mexico at that period of time is, is accurate. It started over by Auburn. If you were coming in this direction from the Georgia line, the, uh, the shoreline was right about Auburn, Phoenix City area. And then it came over and went just north of uh, Montgomery, north of Selma, even a little farther, and then just uh, a little north of Tuscaloosa, curved on around, and went through the Muscle Shoals area of the state. Now that's where we sort of stop it when we're talking about Alabama, but it, just to let you know how high the sea was at that period of time, that shoreline went up to Cairo, Illinois, in fact a little bit north of that, 